Hi, this is Brandon with Precision Defensive Solutions. Today we're going to talk about the benefit of using red dots when you're wearing progressive lenses. So a while back we started seeing uh, a lot more students that were wearing uh, progressive lenses. So they were wearing trifocals. Um, and they were struggling to see uh, sights with an iron sided gun. So standard sights, you know, three, three white dot or even um, a uh, gun like this where we've got the Trigicon uh, HD sights. Um, <clears throat> and this gun is empty and the slide is locked back. Um, so it is, it is clear. Well, one of the things that um, we noticed is that even with, with a bright colored uh, front sight, they were struggling to see uh, what they needed to see to make their hits. Um, whether it was because they weren't sure what lens to use, and that was a lot of what the feedback we were getting was that they weren't sure what lens to use uh, to see their sights. Um, being somebody who does not wear progressive lenses, that's a really hard question to answer. Um, <clears throat> but the consistency that we saw was that when they could see distance uh, well, uh, using a, a red dot on a pistol was really the answer to uh, the problem. Now, of course, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, like with iron sights, if, if you're using a contrasting front sight, same thing with the uh, dots, which is better? Do you, do you think the red's better? Do you think the green's better? Honestly, it really boils down to what your eye sees the best. Um, some people like the red, some people like the green. Um, it really doesn't make any difference except to the individual. Where's the benefit though? So when we're looking at, and again, clear, clear gun, when we're looking at a, a gun that has a red dot sight, or in my case, a, a green, uh, this is the 508T uh, um, with the uh, green uh, just single dot in it. Um, it really, it allows you to look at the target clearly, focus hard on the target and superimpose the dot over the target. So you're actually having to see less uh, and line up less uh, when you're shooting the pistol, which makes life so much easier. This really is a game changer for people that, that have vision problems, whether they're wearing progressive lenses or they just have um, vision issues of, of varying degrees. It, it has definitely been, been a major change for me. Um, so many people say, well, no, you just need to learn to use the iron sights better. That's garbage. The, the reality of it is most of the time it's really what the people can see and, if, and they can't change their vision. So if they can hard focus on the target like our eye normally sees, um, superimpose the dot over it, there's less information uh, coming in um, and it's easier to uh, put your shots on target. So if you're struggling to see your your target or you're struggling to see your sights or you're having trouble shooting, I highly recommend that you uh, look at getting a, a red dot equipped pistol. Uh, there's plenty on the market that are optics ready now um, where you can just you know, mount the optic to the pistol or, or even uh, just use a, um, an adapter plate uh, for varying optics. But there's an awful lot of coming already optics ready, so you don't need to have it milled, which saves a bunch of money. Uh, if you already have a pistol that you want to have a red dot sight on it, you can always have it milled. Uh, we recommend C&H uh, Precision Weapons uh, in Georgia. They do a phenomenal job. Um, and they get the gun uh, or get the slide back to you uh, rather quickly also. So the other thing that I'm going to say is that don't get frustrated as you're learning to use a red dot sight. It, there is a learning curve to it. That learning curve can, can vary, but um, under competent instruction, that can really help um, mitigate some of that, that frustration and, and, and that learning curve and kind of make that more of a straight line. And you're going to find as you become more and more proficient shooting a red dot pistol, when you shoot an iron sided pistol, 
your presentation is going to be even more precise. So with an iron sighted pistol, your peripheral vision can pick up the sights and you can kind of make little corrections. With a red dot, you cannot do that. It has to be a very clean presentation to the target to be able to see the dot. Um, and that takes practice. So don't get frustrated with it. But I highly recommend that you try it. I really hope you'll try it because I think it will make a big difference for you. So take care, everybody. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.